There is a GoPro file size problem that nobody really talks about. But if you own a GoPro, then you've probably experienced this problem before. And that includes those of you that own perhaps a newer GoPro like the Hero 13, and even those of you that own an older GoPro like the Hero 6 Black. So have you found that your GoPro files are taking up too much space on your hard drive or your smartphone? And also, have you found that it takes a long time to upload your GoPro files to share, whether that's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or elsewhere? If you've experienced the problem of GoPro files that are too large, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily make your GoPro files significantly smaller without a noticeable quality loss. So let's take a look at a file here. This clip is a whopping 641 megabytes in size, but it's only 29 seconds long. So if you do the math there, that's about half a minute. If you were to multiply that 641 times two to equal about one minute, that footage would be approximately 1.3 gigabytes in size. Why does this file have to be so big? So the technical truth of why it has to be so big, GoPro started to use HEVC compression ever since the Hero 6 Black. And well, HEVC compression is technically more efficient than H.264, which GoPro used on GoPros prior to the Hero 6 Black, these file sizes are still massive. But at the end of the day, HEVC has its own problems, which I'm also going to show you how to solve in this video. If you've ever worked with the HEVC footage, you've probably found it doesn't do the best on your computer. You might find it doesn't play at all. You might find it only has sound, but no video. And you might find that it's very cumbersome to edit. HEVC files will typically play well on iPhone, but when you get to Android devices, a lot of Android devices will struggle with the HEVC. When you get to Windows PCs, you'll usually face a codec error and or the footage is going to skip and be laggy. And if you have an older device, chances are the HEVC files, they won't play at all. And of course, when you go to edit those HEVC files, a lot of video editors, even if you're on a pretty good computer, the footage is either going to be really laggy in there or it's going to crash your video editor. And even when it does work, your computer is probably going to sound something like a jet engine. So let's talk about the one-click solution to the file size and HEVC problems. So I'm going to open VideoProc Converter AI. And what I recommend is I recommend using this before you import your GoPro video files into your video editor. If you do everything here ahead of time, this is going to prepare them to be much easier to edit. And it's going to have them ready for you to export a high quality finished product that doesn't take up nearly the space that it would otherwise. So first of all, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click on Video Converter and we're gonna drag our massive file right here. So let's take the file, drop it right here. And of course, this is a 5.3K file and we're gonna go down here to Compress, make sure Compress is selected. And we're gonna click on this little cog in the upper right-hand corner. And I, of course, am on a Mac. These steps are going to essentially be the same in Windows, but things may look slightly different with the user interface. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here where it says 70%. So this is where we're gonna do our compression. So if you remember, that original file size is 641 megabytes. So if we compress it to 70%, it's gonna take us down to about 450 megabytes. But the good news is we can compress it much further than that and still get really good results where you cannot tell that file has been compressed. So what I like to do here is I like to do the 80-20 rule. And what I mean by that is I like to compress it by 80%. So up here is 100%. This is our original starting size, but I'm going to go all the way down here to 20. And if you look, 20% takes us from the 641 down to about 128. But as you notice, our resolution is still 5.3K and our format is gonna be MP4. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to click done. And when I click done, it's gonna take us back to this screen right here. I'm gonna click run and it is going to start compressing that file. And as you can see, it does it really quick. Even if you have an older computer, it's going to do this relatively quickly. And if you look the current time, it's done it in about 13 seconds and it's got about 12 remaining. We'll see if it can get it done in 30 seconds or less. And when it's done by default, it's going to open the output folder. So right here is our finished product file. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the original file side by side with this file so you can see how good that converted file looks. And of course, these files are both ungraded. I shot these in GP log. So these are going to look a little washed out, but I'll also show the graded ones of these side by side so you can see how it looks. Pretty impressive, huh? And of course, the good news here is you can do a batch of these at a time. So if I select four other files here, it's going to import those as well. 
and it's going to put them all right here in the queue and we can click run again and it's going to go through those. So after looking at those two clips, can you spot the difference? Neither can I. So next, I want to show you some advanced compression techniques. So if we go back here, let's pick a different file. Let's pick this one right here from the top of the mountain. We're going to import it. And when we go back to compress, we're going to click on the cog. And in this case, this file is 311 megabytes, but it is only 15 seconds long. That's still huge for 15 seconds of video. So let's say I wanted to share this one and let's say I needed a specific file size. So instead of dragging this down to 20% and getting it at 62, let's say I needed a file size at 25 megabytes. I can actually manually type in the file size. So I'm going to type in 25.00. And then all I have to do after typing that in is I hit done and then I hit run and it's going to export this file. And we're gonna take a look at what file size it came up with when it's done, which will just take a moment here. So let's take a look at our file. All right, so as I mentioned there, there could be some limitations on how far it could go, but that was pretty close. It ended up being about 27.3 megabytes. So I think we got it about as small as it could go. But let's take a look at how this looks here. And I will show this one side by side as well with the original. But so far that looks really good. And of course, if you want to take an HEVC file and simply convert it to H.264 without doing any other type of compression, I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick as well. So we'll go back to Video Converter here, and I'm going to pick this file right here. I'm gonna drag it over. And this file right now is, let's see, it is 1.16 gigabytes in size, and it is 53 seconds. So right here, if we want to convert this, what we can do is we can go down here and click on the Video tab, and we can click the MP4 H.264. And after we click on that, it's going to present us with several options here. So I'm going to drag this all the way to high quality because we don't necessarily want to reduce the quality. We just want to change the codec because H.264 is going to make this much more compatible. I recommend uploading YouTube videos as, as H.264. I recommend this for pretty much any platform where you're going to share it. And of course, if you want to be able to view this on most computers or smartphones, H.264 is going to do better than HEVC. So after changing that format up there, I'm just going to click done. I'm going to leave everything else here the same. And then we're going to go over here to run and we're going to run this. It's right here. I'm going to open this and just see how it looks. And this was in that super, super POV wide mode on the Hero 13 Hyperview. Just scanning through it here. And this one I'll show you side by side as well so you can see how it looks. But yeah, the file quality looks great in there. So if you don't wanna do the compression and you want to put the HEVC files to H.264, you can easily do it this way right here. And by the way, if you'd like to test these AI features for free, VideoProc is currently offering a giveaway where you can try these out at no cost. Do note with the giveaway, it is an older version with older AI models but the full version uses the newest AI models. You can download VideoProc Converter AI at this link right here. And I'll also include the link in the description below for ease of referencing. So as you can see, this compression is the real deal. When you look at all of these files we just converted, each of these files look identical, but the after file is 75, 80, and even 90% smaller than the original. So now when you go to upload these files, they're going to upload a lot faster. You're going to be able to share them quicker and you're going to have a lot less hard drive space taken up from your adventures while still retaining those memories and having them look good. And I have another video, and in that video, I'm going to show you how to use this software right here to enhance your older GoPro videos and photos. You definitely don't want to miss it.